Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is DXGI error device removed or DXGI error device hung. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So if you have the game on Steam, in that case, uh, you can go to Steam and then click on exit. And once it is closed, relaunch Steam and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer and then check. If that does not work, the next step is to rename or delete this slpcl.dll file. Now, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files, and then open the engine folder, plugins folder, streamline, binaries, third party, Win64. And over here, you, in my case, I have already renamed it. So in your case, uh, you will see this file. So you will see this file, SL. Uh, sl.pcl.dll file you will see this file so you can make a right click first of all create a backup so you can just copy this folder maybe paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can rename this file make a right click you can rename it or you can even delete it so just rename or delete this file and then it can launch the game now if you have the game on xbox app in that case make a right click on the game select manage and then click on files and then click on browse and then open the alters folder content engine plugins streamline binaries third party win64 do the same thing you can just create a backup copy this folder uh, copy this file and then once you have a backup you can rename it or you can even delete it and then you can launch the game and then check if you face any problem you can always put this file back now, the next step is to delete the config folder. To delete the config folder, Steam users or Xbox Game Pass user, uh, you can go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, username folder, your username folder, and then open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items, and then open app data folder, open the local folder, open this 11-bit studios folder, open the alters folder, if you have the game on Steam, open Steam, saved, and here you can see the config folder. When you delete the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. So if you want to create a backup, you can just copy it and maybe paste to the desktop. Once you have a backup over here, now you can, you can rename this or you can simply delete it. Delete this folder and then check. If that does not work for Game Pass user, uh, you can open this Microsoft Store folder, save folder, and here you can see the config. Create a backup, and then you can delete this folder, and then launch the game. If that does not work, and this is for Steam users, rename the save game files. When you rename the save game files, you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, create a backup first, then you can do it. So to create a backup, you can go back. We will just... Uh, create a backup of 11-bit studio copy this and maybe paste it to the desktop now once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder you can just make a right click and then you can rename it dot old once you re rename this folder now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so steam users make a right click in the game go to properties in the launch option type in dash dx12 launch the game now after you type in you can close this launch the game and then check if that does not work uh, this time you can type in dash d3 d12 launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx11 now launch the game and then check still not working type in dash d3 d11 launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this empty it and follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to your nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. 
by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see the screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so in my case if you have the game on steam game pass user you can skip this step now go to the open the game folder and then open this the alters folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here now click on the game and over here you can see GP, gpu preference you can set it to high performance over here and then you can launch the game and then check you can even go to add desktop app once again and then go back select the first exe file and then click on add and then click on it and then select high performance over here and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to now I'll show you how to do it uh, for Game Pass user. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, you can go to graphics settings, type in graphics settings in Windows search box, click on graphics settings, and then click on add Microsoft Store app over here. And then you will find the game in the list. Once you find the game, click on the game. And once the game is added over here, you will see the game over here. And now you can select high performance over here. And then you can check. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, uh, Steam users make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. And over here, uh, open the, dalt, the alters folder, binaries, win64. And then make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check, still not working. Then again, go to properties, and then select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply and then click on ok now for game pass users uh, you can just make a right click on the game and then click on manage and then go to files and then click on browse and then over here you will see the alters folder open the content folder over here you can see the game launcher so make a double click on game launcher this will launch the game and you can even try to run it as an admin make a right click go to general tab and then click on create desktop shortcut once you create a desktop shortcut over here you will see the shortcut make a right click and then you can click on run as administrator and then you can check next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so for this you can open windows settings go to privacy and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browser apps go to the game installation folder for steam users uh, you can just open the game folder select this exe file click on open Again, click on add an allowed app, browse all apps, and then open this folder, binaries, win64. This exe file is important. Click on open. Now type in control panel, and then go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings, allow another app, click on browse, and then again, open the game folder. Select the exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, uh, click on browse, and then open the alters folder, binaries, win64, select this exe file, click on open, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game file. This is important, so make a right click on the game, select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is done launch the game and then check now game pass users uh, make a right click manage and files and then click on verify and repair once this is done launch the game next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel and then open control panel 
go to system and security and then click on power options in my case i have only balanced if you see power saver over here select power saver and then launch the game you might see balanced power saver high performance so you can try each one and check which one is working fine for you if you see power saver try power saver so you will see option like this so select power saver and then check now if you are using this intel extreme tuning utility software or if you if you're not using it you can install this software and then go to performance core ratio and you can lower down uh, performance core ratio if this is set to 58x or 57x you can try 56x maybe 55x maybe 54x try to lower down performance core ratio and then hit apply and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed we have to restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio files you have to download this x60 x86 and x64 version so download x86 you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once installed you can close these boxes and then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to do not overclock your computer so if you have overclocked you can set it to default and close all the 
overclocking application. So if you have MSI after burner, revert tuner, or any kind of overclocking application is running, you can close it and then launch the game. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to general option and turn off this option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay close all the overlay application and then launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have votas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect additional controller connected to the computer sometimes we have extra dongle for the controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close it if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. So go to your manufacturer website, select your model number, find the latest BIOS and then install it, restart your computer and then check. In case of laptop, when you update the system BIOS, make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game now if nothing is working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can just make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive then install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel